In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the types of regions. We have three basic types, formal, functional, perceptual regions. We're going to go into depth on each one of these. Let's talk about formal first. Why? Because they're all about facts. Formal regions can be proven to exist. How do you prove that a region exists? Well, go and collect data about it. If you can collect data about it, you can prove that it's there, right? So let's take a look at some of these places that can be proven to exist. Climates can be proven to exist. You can go to here, anywhere here, 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 collect some data on the temperature and rainfall of these places and prove, hey, they're similar. It is dry, it is hot, and they share that in common. Let's call them the same region, basically. Now let's take a look here. Nation states, counties, and cities can be formal regions. Why? Because they have formal boundaries. They're not changing, really, unless there's war or some kind of conflict. We can prove where their boundaries are. Another type of formal region are those of physical features. Physical features have boundaries that can be proven, like the Amazon River Basin. We can prove that this little bitty tributary flows into a whole bunch of different river systems until they get into the Amazon, the mighty Amazon. This whole area can be proven to be drained into the Amazon River. All right, now that's not all. That's not all. We have language. Okay, you can go to any one of these places within these regions and say, okay, there is a similar language in this area. Now, they might not all be speaking the same language, but there are similarities. You can then make a case to say that the cultures in those areas are kind of similar. Lastly, we have economic regions. There are areas of the world where you can travel to and say, okay, there is subsistence agriculture going on here for the most part. Okay, most of the people here make a living uh, subsisting. Okay, now, functional regions. Functional regions are cool because they have a use. They wouldn't be a region if there wasn't a use for them. Functional regions have a center. They're, uh, they are based around something and are connected with the area around them by some kind of transportation route. Okay, well, what are some examples? Let's take a look here. Some of our examples are utilities. We have water pipelines. Your city or you know, your city water service will be the center of this uh, distribution route and the pipes will carry water away from that source. The water is pumped up from the ground and sent out along this functional region to homes and uh, other places that need to use it. Okay, what's another one you ask? Okay, let's take a look then at electricity. The center would be, of course, your power plant. The transportation route are power lines. The power lines carry that electricity out from the power plant. That makes it a functional region. Oh, let's think of one more. Okay, something as, as uh, simple as a pizza delivery area. We can see that there is a center here and they will deliver out into this circle. That is a delivery area, making it a functional region. Last but not least, one final example is the delivery of a different kind of service, phone services. Verizon will deliver their service to this functional region, while AT&T will des deliver their service to this functional region. Now, let's take a look at perceptual regions. These are the ones that are real funky. Why? Because perceptual regions are opinions about regions. A whole bunch of people get together and think of an opinion. Now, there are no clear boundaries. It's all based on stereotypes, not based on fact at all. No facts. Okay? So, you get lots of attitudes about a place. You can have opinions about parts of town saying, oh, well, this is where all the rich people live, and, uh, well, this is where all these type of people live, and this is what goes on here, and, you know, oh, just stay away from over here. Um, it's all opinion-based. Is it real? Not necessarily. Based partly on fact, perhaps, mainly just whatever. 
Okay, also you can have countries being stereotyped. Well, this area is all full of commies because at one time there was a political uh, domina domination here by the USSR. Well, eh, maybe, maybe not. Okay, or I heard there are a lot of mobsters that come from Italy, so that must be what's there. Or Spain's a whole lot like Mexico. A whole lot of t stereotypes go on. What people perceive about a place. You can even go into, oh, Southern California is full of valley girls, all girls from there are, oh no, ignorant and vain, oh dear. That's not necessarily the truth, though, is it? You can get into a lot of trouble with perceptual regions, okay? Or, like, Asia, smart people, and uh, press of governments, or even the American South being a whole bunch of hillbillies. These can get you into a lot of trouble. Okay, so, perceptual, all opinion. Okay, so those are our three main types of regions. Enjoy.